Hi everybody and welcome back to Rage 2. Thank you all for checking out this video, hitting that thumbnail, it means a lot. If I could just ask if you could be so kind as to perhaps leave a like and a comment for the video, that would help me even more. Thank you all. Now then, in the last one was the start of the game, the authority has become resurgent or re-emerged in the wasteland. I have to, uh, the base we have, <coughs> We think uh, the base I was at got destroyed. I'm the last ranger left in the wasteland, and I'm going to the three select places in the wasteland to get three people to help me with something called Project Dagger. This is the first one. I've driven to Gun Barrel, uh, looking for a guy called John Marshall or something like that. Destination reached. Yeah, John Marshall. All right. Hey! Heading there now. Oh, uh, whatever that false little greed about tells you, don't try the slime vogel Jimmy Chug. Trade towns. We'll find many types of traders. Buy, you can buy and sell too. And you can also buy and sell information. Well, you can buy information. Perfect timing to come back to Gun Barrel, eh, Ranger? I have never been here before. So I can't really say I've come back here. Job board. I can either do a bounty or a another bounty. Um, that's probably something I'll look into between uh, videos, maybe, to get money. Yo. Data pad. Look, Patsy. Riff raff with guns. Finally, we might be in love. Hey. Welcome to the Dead Primer Tavern, home of the slime vocal Chimmy Changa and the best swamp swill in the wasteland. Check your troubles at the door and dance on in. What a jolly talking cactus. Yo. Yeah, so I would assume this is just what I talked about in the last one. There'll be a lot of data pads with backstory and stuff to flesh out the world a little. Hey, Carter! Let's trade some words hey, before you head in. Good. Looking real good there. Oh, you're new! This is the Dud Primer. Best watering hole in Gun Barrel. Big crowd, rowdy crowd. Marshall trusts me to keep said crowd in check. Name Soul, Soul TV. Don't worry, not here to start any shit. Good for your face. Now, you do look like the action loving kind. You should check out Mutant Bash Arena up north. What a show! What a great show! Right. I'll bear that in mind. Are those, are those glasses? Or is eyes? Is that some kind of like future tech? Now I'm telling you, that's bad intel, Gulo. Oh, Jimmy, you just need a tiny gulp, Marsh. No, you don't get true swill if you don't give true talk. Uh, I speak the day's true, Marsh. Violence destroyed. Yeah, right. Blown right to shit by mega bad tech news. I ain't biting, Gulo. You're just looking for a free fix to swill here. Vineland is gone. See? I was talking true. Don't glug it all at once. Ranger, huh? Oh, I haven't seen a ranger here in a long time. John Marshall. Legendary resistance fighter. War hero. We grew up on stories about this guy. I gotta admit, I was expecting something more... impressive. <laughs> Seems impossible. Vineland's defenses were impenetrable. So we all thought. We weren't ready for them. We weren't ready for the authority. Get back then. I'm guessing you'll hear about the Dagger Project. Problem is, we're under a whole different kind of siege here. Muties. They're clogging up our power turbine in the sewers. Now if uh, someone was to take care of that... If that's what it takes to get Dagger online, show me what to kill and where. <laughs> you catch on fast. 
I sent down every Renner killer who walked in here, but they all end up dead. It won't take long. Hopefully we haven't started by how we, how we mean to go on. I don't want to spend most of this game traipsing around sewers. I'm sure the first game was sort of like that. Okay, so that's a... I know that look. I can help. Just ask. Uh -huh. Step closer. Let me see your eye slits. Let me stare right into your soul. And yes, I know what you want. You want intel and data. Low down. A curious mind thing. My god, that man can talk. Yeah, you'll come again. Let me stare into your eye slits. Uh, Blister Kingsway. What a name. Just you stock up at the market before venturing into those sewers, Ranger. You get that power back for me, and Dagger's back on track. This is kind of Borderlands. You, huh? Third one this this, week. Uh, this town. Let's it's very Borderlands 2. Possibly Borderlands 3. I haven't played it yet. Well, hey, <laughs> don't be shy now. I haven't seen your uh, face down this yeah, way. Yeah, stop right. Buy two rounds. How do you know I'm from Vineland? Ah, got the outfit, see? I recognize the Doddlers. Uniform like that. Only Rangers get them. That means you with Prowley. And that means you can deal with me. Okay, let me take a look at what you have. Okay, 260 should do it. Perfect timing to come back to gun barrel. Regardless, 315 will not be enough ammo for what I assume is going to be a lot of shooting. There's an Bye -bye. underground stream down in these old sewers. We hooked it up to a turbine generator. Makes us completely independent. As in, we got our own power supply. We don't have to buy no feltrite from greedy traders fixing the market and playing dirty. Mother Nature provides. And how's that working out for you? Well, apart from the occasional wrench in the works, like, uh, say, a beauty infestation clogging up the turbine, we're good. We got our own juice. Plus, there's always a gun for hire to do the jobs if things go south. That's what I am? A hired gun? Hell no. You're a ranger. That's a whole different enchilada. Whole lot spicier and meatier. Just making sure, Marshal. Just making sure. Enchilada. How do they know? How does he know what an enchilada is? He's never seen one in his lifetime, I'd assume. Perhaps I'm thinking a bit too much into this game. After all, it is by Bethesda. This is, are, this is by the same company who did Wolfenstein and whatnot, so... Maybe it's safer not to look too much into it. Ooh, chest. That looks promising. As promising as something can look down in a sewer. Just checking to see I turn the mic back on. Uh, don't want another repeat of that uh, of like earlier. Hey Marshall, walkthroughs. did you know there's an arc down here? Just sitting there. Oh yeah. Maybe you got the nanotrike config it takes. See if you can't get it to open sesame for you. Please approach for security scanning. Security scanning complete. Welcome to Arc 402A. It's an Arc Tech shotgun. Man, I've only seen these in old hollow logs. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to do a virtual reality thing, aren't I? That is the combat shotgun, an unstoppable force at close range. 
engage with the potential to knock enemies back. Shotgun more than the machine gun feels very doom, doom-esque. Good. Sequence completed. I like this gun. Use this is a nice gun. Use the combat shotgun's overdrive against the simulated enemies. Upgrades. Weapons. This is going to be very annoying as the game goes on. If it takes us long just to go between menu screens. Uh, okay, I can't. Doesn't look like I can unlock anything here anyway. And only you can use it. So, hardwired to your nanotrite signature. Ah. ah, look. It's the chest. Uh, money. They're still using cash in this, this post apocalyptic world. Yeah, I think they'd have moved on, wouldn't you? Okay, yeah, this shotgun is very good. Try to get those guys. Oh. Surprised they survived that last one. I don't know what that guy. I think that guy had a, maybe a gas canister stuck to his back. Oh, 
this game appears to be very forgiving. I mean, if this was Wolfenstein, I'd be dead. Twice over by now. Take everything I can grab so I can sell it when I get to the surface. I don't know what mutant spores are for, but I assume I can sell them. I should probably consider just, um, yeah, like saving ammo, stop shooting these boxes. I do have a melee attack for a reason, and this is one of the reasons. I've reached the turbine. Like you said, it's gummed up with some nasty mutant goo. Yeah, you made it all the way down to Muni Central, and you're still standing. Outstanding work, Ranger. Now you just need to find the lid and crack it open. And you can flush it out. He's not so tough. Ranger, there are two switches in total. You gotta flip them both. There, these guys might prove to be more annoying than the big one. He's like, yeah, well done. You did it. I'm like, I'm still down here. Congratulations, is it premature, but I'm still down here amongst all the mutants. Project Dagger. Now that's one for the books. It was me, Doc Kavasir, Lucem Hagar, and your own Sergeant Prowley. You do know Sergeant Prowley. She raised me. Made me into the killing machine I am today. I figured. You have that, uh, extra something about you. 
Like you've been trained by the meanest and the best. She didn't make it. She was killed in the attack. I'm sorry to hear. That explains why you're here, I guess. Filling in for Prowley. Whatever it takes to crush the authority. Amen. By the way, what's your handle? Call me Walker. Walker it is. Ranger Walker. There you are. This is my armory. My base of operations. From here, I'll be able to start working on... Don't know if you know, but Project Dagger involves you driving a jury-rigged tank into Authority Headquarters alone and manually distributing a nanotripe murder Mickey into the Grand Ghoul himself, General Cross. Sounds like fun. Guess I better get busy then. Guess you better. I'll reach you on the comm box when I need you. Okay, congratulations, you've unlocked Marshall's product, uh, projects. Uh, sure, I'll have that one. What's this? Pain resistance, reduce shakes and boo when taking damage. Alright. And yeah, I'll take that too. Okay, the next oh, four I get, I'll have to spend on these. These seem like uh, like the base abilities I should be having. Grab whatever. You'll need every edge you can get. Uh, thank you. I think. Ah, this is what he meant. I thought he meant the contents of that room, which are very bloody slim indeed, aren't they? Just the slate, and that's it. Okay, what's in here? Wing stick I can't use. That I can use, there's got too many of them. Take all these and all. Ooh. There it is, my little dagger puzzle piece, the scrambler. You're gonna need it if you want to get past authority ground sec, but it still needs a bunch of work. I messed around in the sewers and went through all that muck just for this. I get the feeling the other pieces are gonna be just as small. Bonkers on Huff if there was no drink. Uh, he got me out of shit city and kept me warm and fed. <laughs> he keeps me in top shelf swill too. <laughs> Not the real rock guy I used to swig. Oh, it's good. It's a good life. It's better than being dead. <laughs> That's a great outlook to have. Well done. Especially in this world. <laughs> yep. You enjoy your um, drug addiction. If that's what it is. I don't know what swill is. But it sounds lovely. Now where to? I think that is John Marshall done. Um, so I need to go for Wasteland Celebrity. Lusum Hagar. Uh, what's this? I don't know, I'm not 100% sure what that one's for, but let's go and see Dr. Kivasir 
in the Secreto wetlands. Let me use the next one. This, I get the feeling from the map size and from what I'm gathering from the story, this isn't going to be a very long playthrough. Uh, how do we get out of here? Yeah. Uh -huh. Ranger, power's back online. Outstanding work. I don't like the way smoke is coming from this. Hopefully, it'll get me to the wetland. Yeah, I get the feeling this isn't, this isn't a long game. I've uh, kind of st I stuck away. Welcome. I need you to get busy on my operations, and don't forget. I have projects that I hope you Uh-huh. Uh, I've kind of, like, stuck away from reading the reviews for this. I wasn't, uh, I don't want to give too much away of, like, the plot or anything. Because, like I said, I quite enjoyed the first game, so I was somewhat excited for this, but I get, to, like I said, from looking at the map size, this isn't going to be a long game. I get a feeling that's going to be where the end game is. Or oh, it could be, because there are, like, bits just trailing off that this could expand. Possibly doubtful, but it, it's possible. How do I fire? Hey. Uh... Ah. Okay, where am I going? Okay, take a look. I can't say I'm too fussed on the driving mechanics. They seem fine. Like, they're not bad, they're just not great. It's uh, Borderlands, basically. Nothing else, to, nothing else I can really think of to describe it. It's, it's Borderlands. Lily, I'm in the Swampies. Now, where do I find this Dr. Foss here? Your guess is as good as mine. You should head to Swamp City, Magoonie, and poke around. Gotcha. Heading there now. Swamp City. I'm going to all the highlights of the, uh, the wasteland, aren't I? Swamp City. That Mad Max slash Borderlands town I just came from. Where's Borg? Can't even remember the name. Magoonie. Swamp City. Let's see if I can find anything about Dr. Kvasir here. There are a lot of different biomes in a very s short space. Like, you know, a very short area. There's this, then there's desert. Uh, God knows what else. The wilds. I saw that on the map. That's probably like a forest area. But the map itself isn't that big. Alright, let's go and see what Laguni has in store for us. Bounty, bounty, bounty. Ranger. Who? Haven't seen a ranger in a long, long time. Now you look a bit lost to me. We fought back to back, your kind and mine. Back in the war. Name's Mo Rummy. I'm just an old vet who keeps an eye out for the people of Laguni. Been living here a good long time now, and I know just about everyone. Do you know anything about a Dr. Kvasir? Scientist, real old. Haven't heard that name since just after the war. He moved into the Deep Secreto, and then went completely off the radar. Nobody's seen him since. Anything else you can tell me? Well, the area around his base is usually awful quiet, on account of the heavy old security. But lately, there's been a whole lot of noise coming from that part of the wetland. Okay, I'm gonna check it out. Back to the car! Uh, right, so... Not that one, but that one.
Yeah, this isn't so bad. There's a lot of traveling in this uh, quest, this mission. Mission arm. I'll come back. Leave that for later. That looks like it's going to be quite a lot of fighting. I'd rather unlock a few guns just you know, before that happens. as far as I go by vehicle. I think not. This should be it. Where are you, Dr. Bossy? Ah, so the authority are trying to get to him. with this cactus? It's everywhere. Is it supposed to be, like, marketing, or what? I came looking for a Dr. Kvasir here. There you are. Let me just... I see. Uniform is wartime issue. Modified for use in ecopod fortification. Vineland, no? Then you must be. Yes. Second generation artist. How fascinating. Vineland, yeah. I'm pretty much what's left of it. Hmm. You check out. Hold on, and I will let you in. I do like the idea that the world ended, but this talking sort of cactus, which I assume is from some kind of fast food restaurant, uh, survived. Like dozens of these things survived. But it, you know, civilization just crumbled as a whole. Alright, let's go and see the professor. I haven't seen this guy since the first game. I'm not looking forward to his job, because if I recall, he's the guy who sends you into the dead city in the first game. You must be one very big little secret. Welcome, Ranger. Welcome. It's been too long since I played host to one of your kind. Dr. Anton Kvasir. Genius scientist with a shifty past. Original Arcist. Pre-Apophis. They said he worked for the Authority and helped create their mutant soldiers. Then he turned on his masters. Joined the cause. Fought alongside my folks in the Authority War. Not sure how I feel about mad scientists at this point. 
but I do need his help. It's an impressive setup, Dr. Kvasir. Kvasir, yes, my lab suffices. Lace. <clears throat> my research used to be more mechanically inclined. But over time, the machines, it turns out, fail. I prefer to rely now on genetically engineered solutions, simply because they can heal. Makes sense, I guess. I hope you don't mind, Walker, yes? I put your scan through my arc mainframe. I know you now. Your parents, hmm? such a tragedy when they were lost. But Arvina proudly took you in, no? She did. As if I was her own. But they killed her. They destroyed everything I ever Dead. knew. Oh no. She was... formidable. I was always hoping to... But alas, no. It was a massacre. An unstoppable force. Mutants, a new kind of creature. All tech and armor and guns and huge. Taller than any building. And they were led by a man. General Martin Cross. Oh, he is back then. It was to be expected. Him and his lapdog scientist, Dr. Bendros, were always hard at work on their longevity project. But you see, for that problem, I just might have some solutions. Solutions? I've got one for you. Project Dagger. Ah, you know. <laughs> yes, of course you do. Crowley must have told you already. It will be easy for me to do my part. The project was always equal parts action and science. Come back in about... Uh, Oh, six years or so. Then I will have concocted the nanotrite reprogramming agent, or serum, as I prefer to call it. Whoa, did you say six years? Yes, thereabouts. The science cannot be rushed. Uh, yes, it can, with better computing power. But alas, my lab is old and tired. Only the elusive Eco-15 still in orbit could provide the computing power to speed up this process. The Ecopod's still in orbit. Been hearing about that since I was a kid. Yes, it was a miscalculation. It remained on the firmament as the others came tumbling down. If Eco-15 was to be forced down, I could tap into the processing power of that ancient supercomputer. Think of it siphon that brute computing force into my poor old laboratory. Is there any way to force it down? Hmm. Yes. It can be done from the Eden Space Center. Then I'll do it. Yes. Wait a minute. You knew I was going to volunteer to do it, right? Yes. Okay, after the Eden Space Center then. That place doesn't seem so secure. It's only a... S All right, um less said about that the better the floating lump of organic mass I'm not sure if it's completely organic I don't know what that little line is but uh, whatever it is let's leave it be okay where am I going where am I going uh, no oh that's a hell of a trek I'm gonna go to gun barrel no, the Ranger refueling station. There we are. Can I can I even fast? No, I can't. Uh can't fast travel to some of these.
can fast travel to gun barrel though so I'll drive over to uh, ground control and we'll see how long we have generally I'd like to keep these videos around 40 minutes 45 minutes might push on a bit more maybe but because I'm using the PlayStation video capture for these uh, videos um, it's yeah I think I can get up to about 60 minutes or 59 minutes 59 seconds and then the video automatically stops anyway so I try and cut it at about 45 so I should have quite some time hopefully by the time I get the firm control yeah so so far I'm, I'm kind of it I'm, I, I say I'm enjoying the game I like it it's not what I was expecting. Yeah, and it's miles apart from the first game. The first game was sort of just like proof of concept, it felt like, in a lot of ways. But this one seems a bit more fleshed out. It's a shame they kept with the actual bad guys from the first game. The authority. Another bandit pit stop. Uh, I'll come back for this one. Sort it out later. Yeah, I've always, always felt like the authority was kind of a... Uh, an inspired... Like a very uninspired kind of name. The enemy of my enemy. Approaching the Eden Space Center. Ah, yes. It might be overrun by road scum, come to think of it. But that would be no problem for a ranger. No problem at all. Destination reached. Weapon overheated. These guys can take a lot. Okay, I thought there was one, one more left, one more guy left, or girl. Clearly not. Okay, it seems safe. Ish. Doctor, I made it to the space center. It's in ruins and, like you said, overrun by thugs. It should pose no problem to you. And as for Eden, well, it was built to withstand anything. Let us get you proper access. Press palm to hand scan in the reception desk. Well, look at that. Excellent. Now, allow me to give you full access. Hey, Doc. Better hurry up. Road goons caught the scent. Wait and hold. I have it almost. <laughs> I almost had it. Just give me a few more minutes. This, even for me, I am just about to break on through. That's fine, Doc. You take it back. Ah! 
It's not like the, the band of psychos is trying to murder me horribly. the sound of that. Ah, yes. Better to take no chances. Now you have full access. President, the Ecopod mission control is on the third floor. Mm. Right. I just want to point out. My character's first name is not Ranger. Right, I'm going to have to call the video to an end here because I'm sort of nearing the uh, end of the video and my time limit. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. Uh, I'm going to be uh, putting these up probably like every day over the span of like a week or two. Or I might just like put one or two out a day over the span of a week. I'm not too sure yet. But like, so far, I hope you're enjoying. Uh, please remember to leave a like and a comment. I mean, if you got this far, the video as well. I just want to say thank you very much. It means a lot. And I will see you in the next video where I'll be carrying on this quest line. Uh, yeah, again, thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed. Just to reiterate that. And I hope you have a good day. See you next time.